Hi, my name is Kimatina, and this screencast is going to show you how to install three Chrome extensions that I think that you're going to find helpful. So the first thing that you need to do is go to the Chrome Web Store. So open up your Chrome browser and go to Chrome. Uh, you can type in Chrome Web Store and click on the, the link that says Chrome Web Store. And the first ex Chrome extension that I want you to get, it's called Extensity, E-X-T-E-N-S-I-T-Y. And you're gonna type that in the search bar. And this is the extension. And what this extension is gonna allow you to do is it's gonna allow you to manage all of your Chrome extensions that you have at the top right corner of your screen. So you can easily enable them or disable them whenever you want. So click on that and add that to your profile. The next Chrome extension that I want you to install is uh, Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle does have a Chrome extension and we're gonna go over that. So please install that Chrome extension. And the last one is called DF YouTube. And that is a DF YouTube is distraction free YouTube Chrome extension. And I'll show you how that works too. So install those three extensions. And when you do, you may not see them appear here at the top right corner of your browser. All right, so what you need to do is click on the puzzle piece. And the puzzle piece is going to open up a drop down and you're going to see all of the extensions that are installed in your Chrome profile. In order for you to see them in the Chrome browser, you need to pin them. So by default, this little push pin icon here will be turned off, okay? You need to click on it to turn it on. And when you do that, you'll see the Chrome extensions up at the top right adjust accordingly. So I'm going to pin DFU to Ed Puzzle, and my Extensity Chrome extension is already pinned. And when they're pinned, you will see them appear here. Here's my Extensity, my DF YouTube, and my Ed Puzzle. So the first extension that I want you to look at is the Extensity. So let me move myself over here. And when you click on Extensity, it's going to give you a list of all the Chrome extensions that you have in your pro profile. So all you have to do is click on it to turn it on or turn it off. It's very simple. It's, an, it's a Chrome extension manager. So if you don't want DFTube enabled, all you have to do is click on it and it'll turn off, okay? And you can see that it's grayed out here and the icon disappeared from my browser. And when I click on it again, it'll turn on and it'll, it will be active. Okay, so I'm going to just turn off a few of these so that you can see that it is working. All right, so that's the first thing that you should be aware of are the Chrome extensions that you have installed in your, in your profile. So the second extension that I want to show you is the DF tube extension. And what that's gonna do is every time that you're on a YouTube page, all right, it's going to clean up that whole page. It's not gonna show any of these upcoming videos um, for you or your, or your students. So it's only gonna show the main video. So as you can see, it is disabled, okay? So what I have to do is click on it and I have to activate it. And when I click activate on this YouTube screen, watch what happens. Okay, I'm gonna refresh. And voila, all of those ads for the next, the upcoming videos are gone. Okay, so that's a nice way to show a video to your students without having any of those distractions on the screen, okay? So you do have to click on DFTube again to deactivate it. And when you deactivate it, 
you can see all of those video ads come up. All right, so that's a really cool extension to have in your toolbox. Now, the last one is the Edpuzzle extension. So what you need to do is make sure it's enabled. All right, so I'm gonna refresh my, my page and what I'm gonna do is move myself over. And when I have Edpuzzle enabled and I'm on YouTube, okay, you can see here that a button shows up. It says edit with Edpuzzle. Okay, and this button will show up on any YouTube video um, that you're searching for. So say you find a really cool video that you wanna use with your students, um, you, you don't have to download the video. You don't have to do anything with it. All you have to do is click on Edit with Edpuzzle. And it will open up Edpuzzle and it will allow you to add questions into that video. Okay, so this should look very familiar to you. Here's the video. Okay, this tab here will allow me to trim my video in case I wanted to make it shorter. All right, this tab here will allow me to do a voiceover. And the third tab will allow me to insert questions. So if I wanted to insert a question into this video, I certainly can. So what I'm gonna do here is just move along the video and I'm gonna stop it. And I'm gonna just click on multiple choice question and I'm gonna type in here, uh, what does steam mean? And I'm gonna put science I'm going to put um, music um, and I'm going to add another one and I'm going to put um, technology. I'm going to say that that's the correct one, right? So what does STEAM mean? Maybe I should rephrase that question to include um, what subject areas are included All right, so there's my question, and now I can hit save. And now you can see here on the bottom of my video that I found on YouTube that a question was inserted into that video, okay? And now I can actually use that video and send that out to my students, okay? So you can find your video on YouTube and use that Edit with Edpuzzle Chrome extension and edit and add questions in there and submit that and send that out to your students. So there's no need to recreate the wheel when you're looking for videos, okay? So just remember the three extensions, Extensity, DFTube, and Edpuzzle, and you'll be good to go. I hope you found this screencast helpful.